is it? Who is it? There's no key. Back away from the door. Oh, sir, thank God! Hey, you're not supposed to be up here. What is it? What's wrong? Look, you better tell that to Miss Judith. I don't want to know, so don't tell me. Imagining lights. What else have you imagined? Miss Collins, I didn't imagine anything. I saw Just the a moment. Wait outside, please. Well, you heard me. Wait outside until I send for you. Now. Miss Collins, I didn't imagine anything. What happened to me was quite real. How can you know? I do know. How did you get into the tower room? Well, well I. Well, go on. I took a key from the pantry what? room. What? Now, Miss Collins, I know that you're angry with me, but while we're sitting here, there's some maniac running loose in the house. Nonsense. But somebody attacked me. Now, I didn't imagine that. Now, whoever it is, is, is prowling around this house somewhere. Aren't you going to do something? This person that you think attacked you. Did you see who it was? No, everything happened so quickly. That... The gypsy. No, Miss Collins. Yes, that man, Sandor. Why would he be there? Looking for something to steal. Gypsies do steal, you know. But I talked to Magda just before... Magda? Did she know you were going to the tower? Yes. But she would have stopped me if she knew that he was going to be there. A gypsy woman never knows where he is. It's not the first time he's been caught lurking around here. There, Rachel. The mystery is solved. But... Unless you intend to keep bringing it up. I, I don't understand why Sandor... Are you doubting me? I'm sorry, Miss Collins. I'm just not feeling very well, and I... Well, you may go to your room. Tomorrow I'll decide how serious I think these defections from your duty are. Good night, Rachel. Straight to your room.
No. I've gone this far. I've got to finish it. Miss Collins thinks I'm wrong for the job now. At least I'll find out for myself what really happened. Miss Collins, she told me to stay out here and wait. In this storm? Well, from the looks of this storm, it looks like it's gonna blow over. Blow out to sea. Did you see Sandor? Well, yeah. About half an hour ago. Where? Well, at the old house. I always check out there. Had he been there all evening? I think so. At least the way he and Martha talked. Thank you, Dirk. Why? Did she say Sandra locked you in the tower? Is that it, Rachel? Yes, I'll, I'll explain tomorrow. You're in this room, aren't you? I know you are. <laughs> My name is Jenny Collins. I am your sister. Jenny, give me those scissors. That's what you said, isn't it? When he brought me home, you kissed my cheek and said we would be sisters. Jenny, please. Did he tell you I was a singer? Or is that one of the many things he kept from you? You used to sing for us. Remember? No. Grandmother always liked it. My love is like a red, red rose. Like a red, red rock. There was one person. When I came, she never smiled. She always wore dark dresses. She hated me. Who was that? No one hated you. She did. She was jealous. I remember now who it was. Who? You! You! It was you! That's not true! That's why you keep me here! I know it! Because you're jealous! Oh, Jenny, you don't understand! You're here for your own good, believe me, only for your own good! When I came, you stared at me! You just kept staring! You were so pretty! You wore a, a green dress, a pale green dress! And you were jealous! And you whispered! And you waited! And then you locked me here. No, it wasn't that way at all. Yes, it was. I know it. I've been waiting, too. You kept here so I can take care of you. You said we were sisters, didn't you? Yes. When I first met you? Yes, I did. If we're sisters, 
Why do I have to stay here? You can go anywhere in this house. You go walking in the gardens. I want you. I want you all the time. And sometimes you wear my green dress. It doesn't do you any good. No, you still look like winter in it. Cold and dead like winter. Jenny, your clothes are here. Here. I haven't taken anything. You say so, but I don't believe you. I don't believe anything you say. Oh, I'll buy you more dresses, as many as you like. Please put down the scissors. Do you still think I'm pretty? Yes, of course. As pretty as when I first came here. Yes, yes. You're lying again, I know it. No, no. But you won't lie anymore. No more. Jane! She lied to me. First she locked me up here and then she lied to me. Jenny, listen. What? You know what? Listen. Yes. I hear it. They're crying. Go to them now, Jenny. I'm a very good mother. The best in the world. No one thought I would be. After all, where I came from, what I did, when my babies came, suddenly it was all different. Yes, Jenny, dear. I know. My love is like a red, red rose. Mm -hmm. No one must know we are working together. You realize that? You see, you really can't trust anyone here. No one is quite what they seem. Except you, Barnabas. Except me, of course. Well, now we must go to Collingwood. Judith will have retired. Such a lovely hat. Why would anyone want to harm you? I know you're here, Angelique. Where are you?
Angelique. Appear to me. Do you think I don't know that you're hovering here? I have been waiting for you. Let us meet now. Here in this room. Are you the strange creature that who has been living here? I feel your presence. Show yourself. Aren't you going to kiss me? You know the answer to that. Other men embrace their wives when they haven't seen them for so long. But you are not like other wives. The last time I was in this room, the last time. Oh, yes, you thought you were so clever. You and Ben Stokes. Burn witch. My master's powers are stronger than your flames. Then there is no way to get rid of you. As I am? Oh, yes. Yes, there's a way. Shall I tell you what it is, Barnabas? If you do, I will use it, I promise you. Love. Barnabas, your love would change me. Your love could make me anything you wanted me to be. I hate to be ungallant, but looking at you, I see nothing but the misery that you caused. The madness, the deaths. And what do you see when you look in the mirror? But I forgot. You see nothing. So you are spared your conscience. No! I am not spared that. Oh, you blame me still. Who put the curse on me? For a reason. Because I could not love you. Well, perhaps this time you will learn to love me. Yes, we're both strangers here, in a foreign century. And if you do, I can help you. <laughs> no, I have friends here. Who, Quentin Collins? Does he know about me too? Have you told him that I come from another time, that, that I am a... I save what I know, Barnaby. Yes, until the price is right. Quentin is quite curious about you. And I about him. Quentin is a clever and dangerous man. Barnabas, how are you going to save David? How do you plan to solve the secret of the werewolf? You know that too. How? How? You're so surprised. Barnabas, I care about David. Don't you remember I knew him? I care for him as much as you, you do. You care for no one. How can you say that when I'm offering you my help? I do not trust your offer. Oh, Barnabas. If we could simply begin again. Will you never let us? Will you never forget? No, I will not. This time you may have to. Yes, you may, because you are going to need my help. Oh, how naive you are. Do you think you can come here to another century and simply watch the action as if it was some play? It's the only way I can find out what happened. Why the ghost of Quentin Collins wants David. But life will not go on here as if it originated. Of course it will. You are here now. You have already changed things. That governess, Rachel, she is already different because of you. But the end will be the same. Quentin will die as he died, walled up in his room. Are you sure? Are you positive? Or will you change that too? Will David die, the victim of a cruel trick in time? Were you here originally? Then you will change things too. I can change them to your advantage. No! You're so worried about David. Have you thought seriously of the danger you're taking? Time may trick you too. You may never return to your own century. Look, Barnabas. Look at the window. 
Go ahead, look. Have you no curiosity? Has living nearly 200 years robbed you of that? I will have no more of your tricks. You'd better look this time, because this is not a trick. This is the end of your visit here. This is the last day in the past. Why are you afraid to turn and see? Because I will not give it to you. I see a casket in a darkened room. A room where no sunlight dare penetrate. The casket is closed. Someone sleeps in the casket. Is it you, Barnabas? Is it? Now the casket is open, but there's so little light that whoever sleeps inside is not disturbed. A wedge of wood, a mallet. What kind of weapons are these? Who would have guessed that these are the weapons of death? Who will try? Tell me who? Tell me! Tell me! Tell me! Angelique! Angelique! 